Yo, hey yo, never get caught holding the grams. Never take a bitch word over your man's. Stay close to him. Never let him know where you live. Never let him get familiar with your dough or your kids. Put the toast to him. Always stay quiet and humble. Don't be scared to take it to the knife or the gun in the rumble. I can show you how to get your neck broke. Stretch coke in the middle of the ocean on a mean duplex boat. Look here, there is no competitor. Z9 with the spaceship doors that open up regular. Get it on with the hard plastic. My 16 tab niggas feeling like they tripping off acid. Then ain't no nigga gonna tell me I can't go get money over there. I don't, I don't care. Shout out to Surreal Mookie, yo, no doubt. Hey, Kevin, I take one pay-per-view. Then I say, okay, my apologies. Now, John John come and say, get cold out the coach, coaching. But we say we can't get a puppet out the coaching. We can't get accused rapists out the coaching. We can't get a pedophile out the coaching. We can't get niggas that be cross-dressing out the coaching. What's good, everybody? So, Cola finally answers. He jumps on Easy's live and breaks down basically John John's response, right? Now, John John said that he deleted a lot of tweets, right? Or a couple of tweets, should I say, when it got posted the day of the event with Cola bootlegging and all this stuff he actually took it down i guess in the back scenes they make calls messages whatever handled it. i guess john john talked to uh tony bro because that's the one that he respects now cola feels some type of way because he's like listen when y'all heard my spaces the reason why i said cash app this and this and that is because he already knows people are going to screen record and throw it up on their channels press those people when you see them I don't remember the last time certain people have not put it up. There's only regulars that throw it up. Better Rap Crazy and a few others that's trying to build a channel now to get at least 1,000 subscribers. And after a certain point, they ain't going to be able to put it up. They'll realize that in the future. Besides that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I get his point as in if nobody has respect for you, then why respect him back? So he's basically saying like, John John in the interview in the video was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The only person I respect in Black Compass is Tony Bro. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to say allegedly, but I'm pretty sure Tony knew about it. About that peer review. He knew about it. Come on. It's not just one person. It's a whole group. Let's keep this real. Tony Bro had to know something. Had to. Example. All right, today's the event. Alright, let me see what my peoples are doing, you know what I'm saying? See who brought it, you know? It's four of them, three of them, whatever, right? They all chip in, yo, did you buy it? You gonna get it? You gonna get it? And it goes on like that. So how did you not know that they were going to be bootlegging it and charging people? That's just wild to me, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's not my investigation. I'm just here to break down, like, Cola just feel some type of way after hearing John John's response like yo if you have no respect for me i ain't gonna have none for you so i don't know where that stands he's like basically taking shots at i guess piper boy uh chris unbiased battle truth and dna like yo if they're able to be up in the culture then i should be able to as well because it's just a pay-per-view is what he's saying so yeah, tell me in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all feel like, you know, this is getting out of control or it should have been <laughs> a lot of things should have been different in the past to where it would have if it would have jumped down to this, it would have been handled totally different. But now it's up in the air, so it's like, yo, whatever comes, comes. I don't know if Cola ever jumps into an event and John John's there. I don't know what type of, you know what I'm saying, level they're on, but it is crazy at the end of the day that John John broke down. He had an interview on Black Compass. He went back at the video and counted how many um super chats he got. A total of almost five hundred dollars. He didn't ask for nothing. He said that he basically was like, "Yo, am I getting some of that super chat?" He threw it out there like, "Yo, off my interview, you got five hundred dollars worth of super chats, close to it or about." That's that's nice. That's a nice little lick right there. I'm just saying it's a nice lick, but he never asked for nothing back or from that. So 
you're gonna tell everybody to support it and then bootleg it is wild but this is surreal keeping it real giving y'all update man y'all can check out that whole video of his little response on i think easy's channel but i'm out man hit that like one